Designing assessments so that students can prepare personalised submissions, either at an individual or group level, can help them adhere to good academic integrity practices. Students can be more invested in an assessment if they are preparing a personalised submission for it. Technology can help assign and manage personalised assessments for small groups of students and even students individually. Let's look at how you might do this by taking DCU's virtual learning environment Loop as an example. We're going to use three different features of Loop to enable the provision of personalised assessments. Groups, group choice and access restriction. As the lecturer, I'm going to make available a few different topics for a group-based assessment. I want students to individually self-select a topic and in doing so be placed in a group with others who will also have chosen that topic. The group will then need to work together to submit the assessment. First, let's create a group for each of the assessment topics. On your Loop course page, navigate to the administration panel, click Users and then Groups. If you had a large number of groups, you could list them all in a CSV file and then use the Import Groups feature to upload them and automatically create them. But we'll create some from scratch, and we can do that by clicking Create Group. Use the Group Name and Group Description fields to give a title for your group and an explanation. Click Save Changes when ready. The group has been created and has zero members. Let's add a few more empty groups by following the same process. After the groups have been set up, return to the Loop course page, click Turn Editing On, add an activity or resource, and select Group Choice. Give the activity a title and a description using the name and description fields. I'm not going to allow students to join more than one group, so I'm going to leave the first checkbox blank. In the Publish Results drop-down menu, there are a few options for students to see the results of the group choice. Do not publish results. Show results to students after they answer. Show results to students only after the choice is closed. And always show results to students. I'm going to select always show results. In the privacy of results drop down menu, I'm going to publish all of the results, including student name and choice, because I want group members to know one another and contact each other to work on the assessment together. I'm not going to allow students to update their choice and I'm not going to show a column for all the unanswered students. I am going to enable limitations on each choice because I want to limit the size of each group. In the general limitation field, enter a limit for each group. Click apply to all groups. In the groups area, we need to add the groups that we have created to this group choice activity. I click into the Available Groups panel and then select all by clicking Ctrl A on my Windows keyboard, then click Add Group. And the groups appear in the Selected Groups panel. There are also options to restrict the answering of the group choice to a certain period, but I'm going to skip these settings and move to the activity completion area. I want students to be deemed to have completed this activity when they both view the activity and when they also make a choice. Click save and return to course when finished. Now let's set up the assessment itself on the loop course page. Click turn editing on, then click add an activity or resource and select assignment. Use the name and description fields to give a title for the assessment 
and information as to what it is about. Configure other key settings like availability, submission types, feedback types and so on. I want students to submit these personalised assessments in the groups that they have self-selected. So in the group submission settings, set students submit in groups to yes. Set require group to make submission to yes as well. This means that students must be in a group on loop in order to submit the assessment. Scroll down to the restrict access area. I want to apply a restriction so that students will not be able to access the assignment at all unless they have completed the group choice activity previously and self-selected a group for this assessment. Click add restriction and from the list of available restriction types choose activity completion. Now let's define the condition for access restriction. I only want students who have completed the group choice activity to have access to this assignment. So therefore students must match the following condition that the activity choose your group for this assessment must be marked complete. Ticking the I symbol next to the condition so that a stroke appears through it means that this assignment will be totally invisible to a student until they meet this condition. Leaving the I symbol unticked means that the assignment will be visible to students but greyed out and they won't be able to click into it until they meet this condition. I'm going to choose to leave it this way because I want students to see that they can't access their assignment until they complete their group choice activity. Click save and return to course when finished. Now let's look at things from the student point of view. The student accesses their loop course page as normal and sees that their assignment activity is greyed out. The short message next to it reads, restricted, not available unless the activity, choose your group for this assessment, is marked complete. So the student knows they first need to complete the group choice activity before they can get a look at their assessment. They click on the group choice and are presented with a list of available groups as well as the current number of members in each group and the total capacity for each group. Clicking the show descriptions button makes the description of each group available too. The student ticks the radio button next to the group they want and then clicks save my choice. On the next screen they can see their choice has been saved and by clicking show group members they can see who else chose the same group. These are the people they now need to work with. Returning to the loop course page we can see that the assignment has now become available to the student because they have completed the group choice activity. But first they need to reach out to their fellow group members and they can do that using loops messaging features. When it comes time to submit the assessment, one student in the group needs to submit the work and a submission is recorded on loop for each of the members of the group. This is because the group submission settings were configured by the lecturer when setting up the assignment. Looking at the assignment now from the lecturer's point of view, we can see how the group submission works by clicking into the assignment and clicking view all submissions. In this grading table, we can see that some students were unable to submit their assessment because they were never placed in a group. And we can see that the students that did place themselves in a group each have a copy of their submitted work attached to their name even though just one student in the group performed the action of submitting on loop. You can either choose to give each student in the group the same grade or grade them individually. This can be done from within this grading screen. Click the grade button next to a student 
Having read and annotated their work on the left hand pane, I have collapsed that so that I can access the grading screen and use a rubric that I have already predetermined. Under the Feedback Comments text box, there is an option to apply these grades to everyone in the group or just to this student who is currently being graded. I'm going to choose yes and let the grades and feedback be applied to everyone in the group. Click Save Changes and then OK to acknowledge the success message. Click View All Submissions to return to the grading table. Now we can see that each member of the group has received the same grade for the work that has just been graded. Allowing students to complete personalised assessments at a group or individual level can help them avoid breaches of academic integrity and the features of Loop that provide for groups and group self-selection are very useful in managing this process.